In this video, I'm gonna show you how I find authorized name brand suppliers to sell products like Funko Pop or to sell popular board games like Clue or Monopoly on Amazon and eBay. What's up guys, my name is Noah, welcome to the channel. If you're new, I like to make videos about e-commerce and selling online. This is by far one of the most asked questions that I get on YouTube, that I get in my email, that I get on Instagram. How do I start working with name brand suppliers? Now, name brand suppliers is not the majority of my business. I mainly work with smaller distributors, smaller wholesale companies, but I do have experience selling name brand products. I typically sell a lot of games and toys like Funko or a lot of board games and stuff like that on Amazon and eBay, but I have also sold machinery. I've also sold a lot of tools, a lot of name brand products on eBay and on Amazon. So my goal for this video is to show you my entire process for how I go ahead and how I find these authorized distributors that are authorized by the brand so that you have all of the full permissions to sell these products. So I'm going to show you that process right now. So in this video, I'm gonna be going over how to find wholesale suppliers that carry name brand products with a specific focus on finding suppliers that are going to be selling in bulk. I know a lot of my videos on my channel talk about drop shipping, but the truth is, is that not a lot of suppliers that carry name brand products are going to be able to drop ship. That doesn't mean that you won't be able to find suppliers that carry name brand products that will also be able to drop ship. It just means that most of the suppliers that carry name brand products don't service drop shipping. So without further ado, the first step to finding name brand suppliers is searching Google for the brand's name with some additional keywords like supplier or distributor. So in order to find drop shipping suppliers, you would just throw in the keyword drop shipping after all of those other keywords. So an example of this would be Hasbro Wholesale Suppliers. Now the reason that you wouldn't just wanna search up the brand's name is because you're going to get a lot of other results that are not going to be for wholesale. So for example, let's say I was searching up Funko, I'm gonna be getting the official Funko website as well as all of their products on Amazon, eBay, and all of the other retail stores that sell their products. Now, if you were to do this, you could just go to the brand's website and actually look for the official reseller page on their website. So if you were to scroll down on the official Funko page, you would have to scroll down all the way to the bottom in order to actually see a button that says resellers. So a way that you can actually bypass this step is if you were to just actually search up Funko distributor or Funko wholesale, Funko resale, anything with those types of keywords, you can actually try all of them and see what you get for the results. But if you search up Funko plus any of those keywords like distributor, you're going to get the official page, usually for the official page of the brand for the resellers. So once you click this and you open it up, it's going to bring you to their official reseller page. Now on the brand's page, they'll either give you the application for becoming a reseller or they'll say like contact us. Here they actually walk you through the steps of how to become a reseller for the product and they actually list out all of the different steps. They go through all of the different information that you need to know. So for whatever company you're trying to work with, you wanna make sure that you read all of this. A lot of the times you're not going to fit the qualifications. So for a lot of them, you're going to need a verifiable brick and mortar store. Now they do say that they service online retail, but a lot of people or a lot of big brands don't actually work with small individual online sellers. So what we are most likely going to need to do is we're going to want to contact them and we're going to find out their official list for distributors for their products. What's most likely going to happen when you contact a lot of big brands is that they're not going to work with you directly and companies like Funko, companies like 3M, companies like Clorox or companies like Dial Soap, all of those big companies, they're going to give you a list of distributors and wholesalers that carry their products. So you'll see right here, why would I use a distributor? Again, they, they list if you're located outside the US, if you'd like to purchase smaller quantities, they give you all of this stuff, but they actually hint at the fact that they do have a list of other distributors. So the way that you would get it is you would look for a sales email or you'd look for a contact info. Now here they actually do list out an email, but a lot of the times you might not see an email directly. So you can always scroll up and down the website and try and find a contact us page. So I know I use Funko as an example a lot on my channel and that's mainly because I do sell them. But if you wanted to sell Hasbro or you wanted to sell Marvel products, basically you would do the same thing. You would go up and you would actually search up Hasbro distributors. You'd go and you would go through all of the links. You try and find the official Hasbro website first before you click anything else. So here I have shop.hasbro where to buy. So this seems like a good link. I would click it and I would look for a way to apply for an application, maybe to get an account. Now the message that I normally send to them usually follows this. So this is going to be the message template and this is also going to be linked in the description. But what I always say is I say, hello. Now, if you know their name, then you're going to put this here. After that, I say, my name is. So you're gonna put your name and then your company name. I am interested in opening a wholesale account with you. Please let me know what information you need from me and I will be sure to send it over. I sometimes include this, sometimes I don't, but I usually say, I have my resale certificate on hand if needed. Thank you. And then you're going to put your name, your company name, and if you have a website, you'd put it right here. 
I don't say Amazon or eBay or anything about online in the initial message. What I do is I always just message the company. After that, they'll usually reply and they'll send me to the right place to be or they'll give me a list of distributors that I should go and contact. So let's say after you've gone to the official website of the company that maybe they don't contact you back or maybe you actually just wanna skip this step and you wanna just go to find the authorized distributors. So the way that I find the authorized distributors is you search up basically the same thing. You search up Funko Distributor and instead of going to the official website, you're going to open up all of the other websites underneath, all of the other links. So you wanna make sure in the metadata that you actually look to see if they are actually legit. So here you'll see that this one is Southern Hobby. It says Funko Wholesale Distributors of Hobbies and Games. So it sounds pretty good. So we're going to open it up. Now I'm going to follow that same process for every other link that basically looks legit. So Funko is a company that specializes and then they basically go on. So this doesn't really seem like a good legit company. So I'm going to go down. So Funko Europe distributor for vinyl pop products. So this sounds like a good choice. So I'm going to open it up and I'm going to keep on repeating this process for all of these different links. Now I'd usually follow this process no matter what the brand is or no matter what the category. So if I was doing it for automotive, if I was doing it for electronics, if I was doing it for Hasbro, for Marvel, whatever it is, I would do the same thing and I would open up all the different links that have some good metadata that mention wholesale, that mention distributor, and that mention the product. So once you open up all of those links, the next thing that you wanna do is you actually wanna vet out the website and you wanna make sure that they are a legitimate supplier or that they are a legitimate business. You do not wanna start working with a business that is not legitimate, that is not going to have your best interest. So here you'll see I have a couple of questions or they're more like a checklist that you can use to try and vet out some suppliers. So here I have, how does the website look? Is there a contact button or a phone number? You can actually call them and ask them some questions, see if they pick up. You can also view them on Google Maps and you can also look on Google for any of their reviews or on Yelp to see if anyone's had any bad experiences or to see if they actually are a real company. So for the link that we opened, we have Southern Hobby, we also have this one, and we also have EE Distribution. So now what we're going to do is we're just going to go and we're going to basically follow the checklist. We're going to check all of the different companies. So their website looks pretty good. It seems that they have a couple of other brands, that they have a lot of other products, and that they are also in multiple locations right here. So also you just wanna see if there's a contact us. So you see that there's a contact us. There's also locations, so we can basically see where they're located. And the next step is, is that we wanna search them up on Google. So once you search them up on Google, you'll see that this one actually does have a Google page as well as they also have some reviews. Now the other step that you wanna do is you wanna go into Google Maps and you wanna see if they have an actual location, like an actual warehouse or something that looks like a real business. So here it does seem like they have a real warehouse. Now a little trick that you can do is you can actually go into satellite view and you can view their official location and see their warehouse firsthand. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just going to click this and then this is going to bring me into satellite view. And here we can see Southern Hobby's official warehouse. And you'll see they have their logo there. So this looks like a real business. So this is obviously probably a legitimate business. What I would do from here is I would just go to the other rest of the checklist and maybe eventually I would open up an account with them. Now, some other things to note is you wanna look at their frequently asked questions. You wanna see their shipping policies. You wanna look for if they have a map pricing. And what this stands for is a minimum advertised price, meaning that you cannot go below a certain price. And you also wanna see their order minimums. You wanna see any other documents that you can find. See if they're going to be able to ship to Amazon. Do they sell to Amazon sellers? Not everyone's going to have that information on their website, but a lot of them do mention it in the frequently asked questions or a couple of other places on their website. The last thing that you wanna do before that you start selling on these products is that you can check if you're gated for any of these products before you start purchasing them. That's for another video, but you wanna make sure that you're not gated for any of the products that these distributors sell, or if you are gated, since these are authorized distributors, you can use their invoices to actually be ungated in those categories. Now what I would do is I would continue that process for all of the sites that I open. Now I only open three, but you would basically continue that process for all of the different websites. And when you find a website that seems really good or seems legit and has a lot of brands, what I would do is I would just open up a list, maybe a Word document, and I would just throw in all of the, I would throw in the website, as well as I would also throw in the contact name and the phone number, just so I can go back and reach out to them later. And you also wanna put the email. So what I do right now, like I said, is I'm just going to scroll down and see if they offer any products. After that, you can go and basically check out the contact page, check out their order minimums, check out all their stuff. And I would do the same here for EE distribution. So what, what I wanna do is we just wanna see what they offer. So they do offer Amazon FBA servicing. They have been in business since 1996. They have exclusive hard to find merchandise. They have a couple of other perks that they mentioned. They are a premier Hasbro distributor. So that means that they are probably an official recognized Hasbro distributor, which is going to help 
help us get engated for these products, as well as they also are going to be willing to answer any questions. So these are a couple of things that you do want to look out for. And if you cannot find any of the information on their website, you can always call that company or you can always contact them. And if they are a legit company, they should be able to answer you. So once you've done some research on the company and they actually look like a good supplier, the next step is that you want to apply for an account. So you can either call them or you can ask them how to apply for an account or if they already have a portal on their website that says wholesale or it says something like create an account. So something like open an account or wholesale or login, what you can do is you can go and you can look for register and then you can complete the application. And then usually for most wholesalers that I work with, they usually open up the account within 24 to 48 hours. Some do take a little bit longer, but it depends on the company, but they're usually pretty quick about it. Now let's say that you don't have a specific brand in mind, but you'd rather work in a specific category. So what you could do is you could just put that category and also you would just use the keywords wholesale distributors. So here I have automotive wholesale distributors and now I have a list of a bunch of different automotive wholesalers. Now what you wanna do is you also just wanna look in the metadata and you wanna look for keywords to just make sure that they are a actual wholesaler. So you'll see right here, wholesale auto parts distributors, shop part, shop supplies. So what you would wanna do is you wanna open it up. Now Wholesale Central, I personally know that they are a catalog for wholesalers. So this is not really going to be a good uh, thing to open. Now you also wanna go here. Now Rowley's is an actual automotive company. So maybe I wanna start working with them. They are name brand in this category. Now I would basically complete the process for all of the other wholesalers and I would try and switch up the keywords, maybe get some different results. And I would basically follow the same process. I would go to the website. I would try and find a login page or a wholesale thing. And then, or something that says retailers, wholesale distributors. And then I would contact them, ask them how I could start working with them. And I would try and follow that same process to start selling their products either on Amazon or on eBay and to start working with them. So that's my entire process for how I find name brand suppliers on Google. And that's also the message template that I usually send to them. So I will be releasing other videos for different methods that I use, but this is one of the best methods. And this is a great method to get started with if you're trying to find name brand suppliers. So thanks for watching. I hope that you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, be sure to like it. If you are new, be sure to subscribe. I make a lot of content talking about wholesale, how to sell on e-commerce and just how to make money online. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.